Hello, welcome to End Time Daily Wash and Brothers and David. Today we want to talk about I can do all things through Christ that gives me the strength. Philippians chapter 4. We want to read two verses 12 and 13. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. A lot of people quote the scripture, but out of context. They say, I can do all things, but only in the positive side. What Paul is saying here is that I can do all things. I know how to live in want. I know how to live in plenty. Some people, when they experience scarcity, they start misbehaving. Some others too, when they experience abundance, their bad character comes out. But Paul is saying that in all situations, I know how to abound. I know how to live. I know how to control myself. The question is, as a believer, have you resolved to do all things through the strength of Christ? Have you made up your mind that it doesn't matter what I face, even if this business crashes, even if I lose everything, like Job, I still believe that the power of Christ will be made perfect in my weakness. Have you resolved as a Christian that nothing is going to shake your faith? That it doesn't matter what I face, nothing is going to shake my faith in this world. I know it is not by boasting, it is not by human strength, because by strength nobody prevails, no man prevails. So I'm not talking about human strength, but you don't need strength to, res to resolve. Have you made up your mind to say, okay, this is what I have come to resolve, that it doesn't matter what happens, this is what I've believed, and this is what I want to do. And by the special grace of God, I am not going to give up because of any circumstances whatsoever. Every believer needs this resolution. Me? I'm not ready to settle down for the less. I've also made up my mind that it doesn't matter what happens. I'm not going to give up. So um, I look at the two sides. As you see me here, I'm ready for the best. I'm not ready for the good. I'm not ready for the average. I'm only ready for the best. But also, I am ready for the worst. It doesn't matter what happens, I've told myself, be it death or life, be it poverty or riches, I am for Christ. Both extremes, both the extreme of the best, the extreme of the worst, be ready. A lot of people, when they see money, they start misbehaving. When they see temptations, things falling apart, they drop their faith. You have to make up your mind and be ready for the worst and the best. I, this is what personally I am ready for. So if the devil knows that I've made up my mind, that nothing is going to shake my mind by the power of God, he will know that bringing some level of temptations to me will not actually produce any positive result for him. Rather, the worst is that he will end up losing a soul to heaven. That is the truth. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with someone. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.